shoot. Alrighty. Welcome back. I'm that guy you just met, and this is Year Without Spending Week 5. This week, the Christmas season is in, and I spent quite a bit of money, more than twice what I spent last month. But I didn't spend on anything I didn't need to spend on, so let's get into it. Into it. Uh, I spent on rent, I spent on gas, and I spent on gifts. And the total spending this week comes in just under twelve hundred dollars. Uh, my gift spending, on average per occasion, because I did all my Christmas shopping, it's all done. Uh, it comes in at about seventy three dollars per gift. And if you remember my budget for gift spending, it's twenty to a hundred dollars. And there's there was this idea that. You know, my, my lowest amount for a year without spending was $8,036. And there was this idea in my mind that, hey, maybe I could actually get under that. Maybe I could get under $8,000. That's not going to happen. <laughs> not not with my gift spending. But, um, yeah, so so that's, that's definitely out of the question. But... Uh, it's, it's no problem, really. I'm still saving a lot of money in a year without spending, and it's a good challenge. So, and I'm still within budget. So, the question of the week. How much should I contribute to my 401k? Now, this is actually a personal question that I'm asking myself right now uh, because I'm looking at a specific example. The 22% line. This is what I'm looking at. So... Each year, if you don't know much about taxes, right, you're going to be taxed for all of your income. Unless you live in a, well, you're going to be federally taxed for your income no matter what, but uh, you might not have state taxes on your income. But each year, you're going to pay federal taxes, and they have tax brackets for how much you're paying. So up to, I think it's like $11,000, $12,000, I think it's eleven. dollars uh, you're paying 10% tax and up to $44,725 you're paying 12% tax and then there's this big jump it goes up to 22% tax for every dollar over that now it's not the line is not really drawn at 44725 because you have a deduction a standard deduction that everybody gets. And the minimum. This is the minimum everybody gets. You might have more. But you probably have this. 13000 And this is for next year. $13,850. So where the line is really drawn is $58,575. And any dollar you're making over that is taxed at 22%. It's this big jump in taxes. So, one of the ways you can avoid paying taxes that high, even though you're making more money than that, is to put it into a 401k. A 401k is uh, often an employer-offered tax deferment plan, basically. And the government lets you put $22,500 into a 401k every year. Uh, That amount increases every year, too. So, you could put that much money into your 401k, and it's not taxed at 22%. And you it, you do get taxed on it later, but you get to put it in a place. You get to earn, take home more money now that you're earning instead of losing that money to taxes and put that money into a place where you're investing it and earning more money off of it. So it's a great plan to utilize. And if you have a 401k, at the very minimum, you should be putting in whatever your company is matching so that, you know, they're giving you a bunch of extra money too. Uh, But putting in a lot and, you know, paying less taxes now is also a great idea. And so the question for me is, do I... Put more in to stay under this 22% line? Or do I take more out for house savings? A little bit of backstory. I already have 
enough for a 20% down payment on house savings. Um, and next year I should, I did an estimate of my income and I should be able to make, uh, enough for 20%, another 70 K right. Uh, worth of house. So 20% of that, uh, 14 to 15 K. So I should be, that should be going towards house savings next year. Uh, but if I don't, if I stick to my current limit on my 401k, then I will take home another five to 5,500, uh, five grand to 5,500. And if I contribute more to the 401k to keep it under the 22% line, then, you know, I give myself an extra and adjusted for inflation, but not considering, not considered against the, uh, potential use now, uh, $210,000. It's pretty good money for retirement. Yeah. Just, just that little extra bit of money. And, and that's calculated, uh, year over year as well. If I, if I, you know, make this decision year over year. So that's where we're at to put more into retirement, to put more into the house now. And that's the question I have to, that's the decision I have to make uh, in the next few weeks. I'm kind of leaning, leaning one way, but I'd like to see everyone's thoughts on that too. Uh, that's all I have for this week. That is a year without spending week five. I don't have many more expenses going into December. Uh, I do have a couple, obviously, like gas and um, taking my car in for service and then I might pay my uh, insurance. I might might pay my insurance this month too. It recess in January, but usually I get that paid pretty early and get it taken care of. So yeah, that's it. See you next time.